Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 28th of November. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you a, a broad overview of what to expect, but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail all the key dates and influences particularly relevant to your sign. Now, Mars has been in a really difficult alliance with Neptune since the start of October. And by the end of this week, that comes to a close. But also this week, Mars is forging a very structurally helpful angle to Saturn. Now, they're both in air signs, and although Mars is continuing to retreat backwards through to the 12th of January, the angle to Saturn means that where we think things through or discuss things in a very well thought through manner, the chances are that this plan or project can gain traction. So that's really helpful. Now we do have that sparkling alliance between Mercury and Venus in the sign of Sagittarius and that's opposite Mars this week but that can create some flirty moments, certainly some vivacious energy but also the square between Saturn and Uranus which is dominated within three degrees of the exact square over the last couple of years by the end of this week that also comes to a close and also by Sunday at the end of this week Neptune ends its long retrograde too so the innovation that Neptune square with Mars has created is going to ease particularly with Saturn's support of Mars it is true that we still need to be aware that Mars's retrograde can cause frustrations when things aren't moving as quickly as we would like but in general, we are coming to the end of a very difficult and intense period of time. And we're still bathing in the energy of that Sagittarius new moon. So a more progressive time, things are going to start to feel much less frustrating. If you would like to ascend above this zodiac presentation and understand what your personal prospects are for 2023 based on your astrological data of time, date and place of birth, I can give you your forecast plus the rest of this year three and in my special package of 30% off also your life roadmap, your character analysis. All this information will give you searing insights to guide your moves future forwards. Please see the link below. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And if you already are subscribed, thank you so much for your support and all your views. Hello Virgo and your week commencing the 28th of November forecast continues to put a lot of emphasis on home, emotional, uh, perhaps family issues. But there can be some um, sparkling interactions with your ruler uh, aligned with Venus in Sagittarius. It's just that Mars is in opposition. Now, of course, Mars has been in retrograde since the end of October. And it's possible that you have felt that things have slowed down when it comes to some, some key goals. Or it may be that someone close to you doesn't seem to be quite as invested in what you're trying to do professionally. This gathering of sensitive energy gives you the chance to try to discuss things. And Mars is kind of, especially as it is still retrograde through to the 12th of January, asking you not to get too frustrated if someone close isn't quite understanding uh, your deeper needs. But the fact that Neptune in your sector of relating goes direct at the end of this week ends its square to Mars, which has been really heavy over the last couple of months. And also uh, Saturn and Uranus are coming to the end of their abrasive right angle, which has really been challenging for you because over the last couple of years, there is part of you that's wanted to change things. But then it's delivering on that change in a way which matches that part of your nature that's very ordered, organized and likes everything running very smoothly so things may have just felt a little bit sort of 
uh, unsettled, a bit challenged in some ways, but that frustrating energy is going to clear away towards the end of this week. And Mars is actually forging a very constructive link with Saturn this week. So if you have got a big goal, ambition, or aim that you have done the prep on, you've invested all your uh, legendary uh, powers of precision towards, you could start to see progress on that after this rather frustrating last couple of months.